Mbaya <laughs> Apana transport marote saka vara, aga zara mavu, mungachiru kwa nimfura, saka ndauta za uzi ndufa mbasi. A cyclone Idai is one of the worst cyclones to have hit southern Africa in recent decades. With fierce winds of 170 km per hour, it destroyed everything on its path. It swept in from the Indian Ocean, causing rivers to burst their banks in three sub-Saharan countries, namely Malawi, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe. Cyclone Muno Muyaka affected Zimbabwe, Vabere, Kiwakawanda, Vika affected my trailers, Ao, Vika affected my gardens, Yaka Tor, Wangem Fura, my fruits of trees, Ao, Katorwa, and the Kaskimusikoro, Maka Dimejo, my buildings, Akachkuti. Cyclone that affected the Kanyango Kuti Payaka Naya. It was a devastating event. In fact, it caused a lot of humanitarian anguish, caused a lot of destruction in terms of loss of life, destruction, not only destruction, but massive destruction in terms of infrastructure. A Friday, 15th of March 2019, is truly remembered by most Zimbabweans as their Black Friday. But for the inhabitants of the Manikaland province, particularly those of the Chumani Mani district, this was one of the worst natural disasters they have witnessed. According to government reports, more than 200 people perished and another 5,000 were rendered homeless by the cyclone. The trail of destruction was huge as homes and bridges were destroyed, leaving people stranded and in need of relief assistance. Cyclone day ya shika mchimani mani, ya kaputa jiwa kwa shakawanda, jino sanganisira mungwagwa, jino sanganisira jikoro, zimba, materes. The cyclone caused a lot of destruction in terms of the water sources. In fact, what happens is the uh, cyclone die hit mainly the uh, 12 plus ones which are in the eastern side of Shimanma. A various infrastructure ranging from roads, bridges, houses, schools and water sources were ravaged by the cyclone. But it was the damage to individual houses that clearly became a cause of grave concern. It set in motion the potential for another disaster within the bigger tragedy as the situation of the chronically ill and people living with disabilities began to deteriorate. Child-headed families were also exposed to greater vulnerabilities as a result of their new status, homeless. The intervention by World Vision Zimbabwe and its partners was timely. It enabled 200 two-roomed houses to be constructed and about 800 others to be rehabilitated. As an integrated approach, the objective of the project was to assist the beneficiaries with safe and secure shelter and also ensure that those beneficiaries that were, that were assisted with shelter uh, they, they had uh, safe uh, and clean water or access to safe and clean water and also those that have been affected uh, with trauma, they receive enough counselling and also enough counselling and also uh, protection uh, and psychosocial support.
The high volume of water that was thrust into the district by the cyclone came with its own lot of problems. The weeks of total coverage of residential areas and fields by flood waters meant that almost all the sources of water were contaminated. In an effort to enhance access to safe water and improve sanitation and hygiene practices for the communities affected by the cyclone, Go Zimbabwe and its partners came up with a response. It consisted of repairing and rehabilitating 183 springs, two boreholes and seven piped water schemes. This enabled 14,000 people to have portable water. These community-led water sanitation and hygiene activities, WASH, were designed to reach more than 30,000 people with health and hygiene goals. Here we are at the source, and this is the tributary to Yamatanda River. It's actually a perennial source. Uh, originally, the source was some few meters down there. It's about four meters from where we are. The source got washed away by uh, Cyclone Idai. And um, we thought probably that uh, if we can actually move the source up a bit, we can have uh, a better position in terms of uh, uh, gravity and uh, elevation. So by the way, here from where the source is and where the tanks are, we have an uh, elevation difference of about 45 meters. Tangat each shupika and game vura. Makati ke cycle die mvura ya iti netsa wana mai ba ya to chere mvura kumu godi kana pa iti mwana wazwarwa ana mai zoge se nungi zau kumu ko akuru izuku ziri zozi tita ngati sa kicha fariri isus saka taka chema chema o newe ku distriki tiki ka pansu ku pua o wakati basi zange mapombi tika pani sa ku zono the SW W wakati basi rizo. Yanka Barba, Nimatanda, Nimatombo, Saka, Tagayo, Batano, Utea, Vore Takumai, Yave in China, nobody gets a cuckoo, cuckoo, cogas or Marara, Saka, Tagajuno, Tigapachi, Mokuneve, Roma Dona, one consorted in Kutbat Sir. Panetica, Panetica, such a shock of this magnitude. You'd find my cases a a material cases an okay. So again, the hygiene promotion was also very key, definitely what I to it. So in terms then of interventions, we, we, we did a lot in terms of restoration of, of water, more, more schools, and why schools? We thought my schools don't need to be if there's an outbreak in the school, it would affect the entire, the entire community. So we made sure that uh, in a number of schools, we, we restore their water sources, and we also made sure that uh, we also have to rehabilitate some, uh, I mean, to, to, to construct some new toilets in the different schools. As the days and weeks and months passed away, the darkness and the terrible slumber into which the communities in Chimanimani had been plunged by the devastating cyclone began fading away. Individuals and community leaders started picking up the pieces of both the physical and emotional damage Cyclone Idai had inflicted on them. 
the timid efforts aimed at rebuilding their lives caught the attention of Plan International and its partners. They stepped in and started off by establishing community-supported child-friendly spaces. These psychosocial support activities were aimed at strengthening community-based child protection structures and life skills training for adolescents. It came at the right time to beneficiaries in Chimaniman as now they have received uh, enough shelter, they have got access to clean water and also those uh, that were affected uh, in psychological counseling. We are assisting those uh, beneficiaries, those who were affected by cyclone you die, especially the, the elderly, those with the five years and above. We are also at, uh, assisting the child-headed households we are also at, uh, assisting the widows and the widowers. A cyclone Idai's devastation was near apocalyptic, and so too was the staggering humanitarian response led by World Vision Zimbabwe. The immediate mobilization by many partners under the banner of the European Civil Protection and Humanitarian Aid Operations ECHO ensured that activities were timely targeted and thoroughly coordinated, ensuring that they reached those who needed them the most. The combined effort of the people of Jimani Mani, the government of Zimbabwe and international partners in the management of the Cyclone Idai disaster lights a candle of hope for the vulnerable members of this community, especially the children, the elderly and the disabled.